I'm so full of muffins right now, but I can't stop eating them. Don't stop. <laughs> you have to stop. What's up, guys? It's Kat and Dev from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another vegan recipe. And today, we are two muffin girls. Hey! <laughs> that works! So many things start with them. It's great, and you know what? Maybe it'll inspire us to make more muffins. What do you think? Should we? Maybe. No? <laughs> I like making muffins, but I also hate making muffins. <laughs> well, thank you so much for making this recipe today, Catherine, if it was a struggle. <laughs> I just like, no, like, I love the way they turned out. I just hate that I can never get that, like, classic bakery-style big muffin top type thing. I thought I was doing something wrong, but this is a common struggle? Yeah, it's a common struggle. Oh, okay, okay. So, what kind of muffins do we make? We made chocolate oat muffins. Dangerously close to a cupcake? I'm here for it. <laughs> but they're like way, way lower in sugar than a cupcake, so they are definitely a breakfast food. Yes, that's how we determined the difference, okay? I mean, I still eat dessert for breakfast sometimes, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, before we get into this recipe, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future vegan recipes every Sunday and whatever Wednesday is every other Wednesday. And let's go find out if it's a muffin or a cupcake. <laughs> it's a muffin. <laughs> To make our chocolate oat muffins, we're first gonna start off by preheating our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Then to a bowl, we're gonna combine some old-fashioned oats with some vegan buttermilk. So to make buttermilk, you're just gonna combine some soy milk and some apple cider vinegar. Then you're gonna set that aside to soak. In a small bowl, you're gonna make your flax eggs. So to do that, you're just gonna combine some ground flaxseed with some cold water and set that aside to thicken. To a large bowl, you wanna combine all your dry ingredients. So that includes your all-purpose flour, your cacao powder, your hot chili powder, baking soda, some salt, and baking powder. And then you're just gonna mix that until it's nice and incorporated. And then we're gonna set that aside. To our oat and milk mixture, we're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil, some brown sugar, and some vanilla extract. And we're just gonna kinda mix that until it's nice and smooth and incorporated and the sugar has dissolved into the milk. Then we're going to add in our flax egg and just mix that until incorporated. Then we're gonna add our wet mixture to our dry mixture and just kind of gonna stir that in until there's no dry flour remaining. If you wanna use chocolate chips or chocolate chunks in your muffins, this is the point you wanna add it in as well. Then you just using a spatula, you're just gonna mix that in until it's all incorporated. Then we're going to spray a muffin tin. If you don't have cooking spray, you can also use muffin liners. And you're gonna fill with batter. I'm using a pretty big cookie scoop to fill with batter. And you wanna make sure it's filled pretty much to the top so that you get those nice round muffin tops. If you don't kinda care about that, you can do them a little bit smaller and that way you'll get more muffins out of it. This made about nine muffins the way I did it. Then we're gonna bake that in the oven for about 17 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven, or until it's cooked all the way through. So you can do the toothpick test to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. So you just stick a toothpick into the middle of one of the muffins. If it comes out clean, it is cooked all the way through. Then you're gonna let the muffins rest in the baking tin for about five to 10 minutes. Then you're gonna transfer them to a cooling rack to cool completely. If you're using muffin liners, it's important to let them cool completely before you start removing them from the muffin liners because that is how you're gonna prevent any, that is how you're gonna prevent too much sticking to the muffin liners and losing like half your muffin to the muffin liner. Uh, one thing to note here, if you like your muffins a little sweeter, these ones aren't very sweet because of the amount of sugar that I used in them, but if you like them a little sweeter, you can add a little bit more, you can add a little bit more brown sugar to this, or if you want, top that with a glaze, or top it with some maple butter or something like that to give that extra bit of sweetness that you need. Because it kind of looks like it could be a cupcake. This is my right? muffin. Mine, this is mine. 
I decided to bake without liners today. Oh, you're so brave. I thought mine would get stuck for sure. No, I just used some cooking spray and it actually came out really easily. Oh. Oh, they look so fluffy. Ready? Yeah. Okay, can confirm. Muffin. Amazing, mission accomplished. Mmm, this is good. Yeah? I want, okay, if I heat it up and put butter on it, that's not going in a sweet direction. So that's real muffin territory, right? Yeah, I've Doesn't done be... that already. Wow, it's waiting so for you. so good. Mm. I put a little butter on it and then I put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. It was so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I also really appreciate the hint of um, chili powder you put in here. Mmm. Because to be honest, I was like, what is this? Am I going to be able to taste this? How strong is this going to be? What am I What am I getting into here? <laughs> um, but I could smell it in the batter, and now I realize that that's what I've been smelling the whole time. Yeah, it's not spicy by any means. It just gives it an extra little, you know, oomph. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's giving depth to the flavor of the muffin. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes, definitely. I really like these muffins because they're not like sweet at all. There's enough sugar in there to make them like easy to eat. But if you want them sweeter, you can add like a glaze to them or like maple butter. So good. I've already had that today too. Mm. This is kind of leading me to two questions. Like one, what is your favorite kind of muffin? And two, what is your favorite way to eat a muffin? Like putting butter or maple butter on it. My favorite kind of muffin is a chocolate muffin. Really? Yeah, I get this one from this coffee shop downtown. That's um, a chocolate beet muffin, and it's so good. Wow. I love it. Yeah, no, I love chocolate muffins. They're my fave. I did not know that about you. But I do find that sometimes they can be, like, overly sweet because they're chocolate. Um, but I've also liked, I appreciate, like, I don't love fruit muffins, if I'm being honest. Fruit just gets a little too mushy in a muffin for me. The texture is just not ideal for Catherine. Interesting. I like a muffin, though, that has, like, a crumble on top. Those are always delicious. An apple muffin's always nice. That's a fruit, Catherine. Yeah, but it's, not, it's a different kind of fruit. It's not <laughs> mushy. What about you? What's your favorite kind of muffin? Um, let me think, let me think. I mean, I think I do really like blueberry. Is that mushy to you? Is that a mushy Yeah, fruit? I hate blueberry muffins. Whoa. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Catherine, I am learning a lot about you right now. <laughs> All right, so in the comments, let's talk about your favorite muffins and your favorite way to eat them. Let's just have some muffin talk. What is your favorite way to eat them, Devin? Butter. Yeah, I usually just eat muffins plain, to be honest. I, that's what I usually do, but if it's my favorite, I, I think the butter, I, I want the butter. Hmm. Okay, as usual, the recipe will be linked in the description box below. There's also a link to our podcast. It's called Camera Eats First. It comes out every Monday. We talk about how we make our recipes, how we run our blog, and we keep you up to date on trending news topics in the vegan world. Go check it out. There's also a link to our Patreon community. Our patrons are a lovely group of people who help support the work that we do, and in exchange, we give them some bonus content, like they get the recipe ahead of time, they give us input on what they want us to make next, or they get a mukbang. So if you're able to support us, we really appreciate that. And if not, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share it with somebody else who might enjoy more muffins in their life. I'm so full of muffins right now, but I can't stop eating them. Don't stop. <laughs> Never stop. Bye. Bye. You could just eat muffins all day and then they turn into cupcakes. <laughs> I think I just really want cupcakes all the time. <laughs>